the off season was pretty good. You know, we did the regular conditioning stuff. That's always, you know, hard to get through, but everybody got through it. Um, we got to, like, work with the coaches more. That was, like, way better. We got to really, like, improve on our games, our strengths, and our weaknesses. So yeah. I really enjoyed that part. Great. And what are the, the team's expectations for uh, this year? Team's expectation? Um, nothing less than a MAC championship. Um, we're trying to go to the NCAA tournament. Um, it's my senior year. I'm trying to go out with a with a bang. Right. Want to um, put our program back back on the map like it was in previous years with like guys like Luis Flores. I just remember coming to those games. I just want to bring it back to the fans and the community. Right. Right. And you're from New York as well. Yeah, I'm from New York. So you're trying to have that influence and and get people to 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 you know kids that want to play. You want to try and get them to say, hey, this is the place to go. Exactly. Right. And uh what about the season so far? How's that been for you? Um, I mean I sprained my ankle, that was a a little drag, you know, brought my spirits down a little, but I'm getting healthy now. We lost a couple of games, but um we got a new group of guys. We just trying to get everybody in sync. We had a couple of injuries. Um, I feel like we're gonna be good, like in the long run, like we just trying to fill everybody out right now. A couple of new guys, get them into the system. It's a hard system to learn. Like I'm still getting used to it. It's my second year, so I could imagine how like the freshman, the transfers feel. But um, we're gonna get it together, definitely. Like, we don't gotta worry about that. We're just gonna keep playing hard with intensity, and that should turn into wins like it did last year, hopefully. All right. And this is the the second year with this coaching staff. How's that transition been? You saying that there's a lot more to learn and within the system. Um, it's definitely different. Um, I love both coaches. Um, Coach Rawson, great coach. Coach Steve is a great coach too. Um, they they're good, but just different. Um, they ask for different things, so it's just like it was just an adjustment period. I felt like I was a freshman all over again. Right. Steve, so it was just a big transition, like a big difference from coaching staff. Right. And the rest of the team, do you feel that um, everyone is kind of um, Decide to to figure out how this system works and the scheme and and start to flow and play together better. Yeah, I think everybody's bought into um the coaching staff and how they play, and it's just like a a reality like um off the court and on the court it all translates to like good performance during the game. How we practice gonna transform to the game because our practices are way harder than any game we play. So okay, I just always ready for thing like any um teams have to come against us. Right. And the conference you play in, that's that's pretty tough. Tell me about some of those schools. Oh, yeah, the Mac's always good. Um, we got teams like Loyola, they went to the tournament. Iona is always tough. Um, Ryder, Fairfield, they're always up in the higher rankings of the um, conference. We just got a – it's a great conference. Uh, hopefully we could get this win, um, come out and go to the NCAA tournament. But it's a lot of great teams, great coaching staff. It's just a great um conference to be in. I love playing in it. Every game is a challenge. You never come in the game like, oh, we're going to blow this team out. They right. can sneak up on anybody at any given time in this um conference. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like it's, it's the type of uh, uh, thing that, like you say, uh, you know, d- don't take anything for granted that you're going to come in there and just get the win. People are going to play their hearts out. Exactly. That's why I love the conference, though. So. We don't get as much recognition as some conference, but I feel we're a great conference. And are there a lot of uh, the, the kids or people in the other schools that you play against that you've uh, played against them for years, you know, maybe with them in high school and against them? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of kids out there. Um, Iona got a couple kids. Um, Momo Jones, Sean Armand, um, Derek Nino. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of local kids, so I'm familiar with mostly all of them. It's just great, like seeing them again, going against them, because I love the competition. Like that's that's what I live for. So yeah, feeling uh, see those guys again, go at them, they go at you, you know, give handshakes at the end of the game. It's all love, but during the game, it's a, it's a war out there. Yeah, yeah, it must be fun. Definitely. <laughs> and you you would have played summer league with them and against them as well, right? Of course. And then what about you? I know you said you you're looking for you know, this season to, to just be something that really um, puts your 
your name and the school on the map. What are your personal goals? Uh, for me, I really don't look at personal goals. I'm more about the team. I'm just trying to win some games. If we could go perfect season, I score five points. I don't care. I just right. want to win. That's that's what it's about. Going to the NCAA tournament. I've never been there my whole three years, and it's my fourth year. So that's a big dream of mine. I just wanna, I just wanna feel that. I heard it's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. It is. Yeah, it must be a, you know, a, a good feeling knowing that you have worked hard. And uh, you, you know you're you're being recognized for your skill and ability. How does that help your teammates? Um, we all a family, so any accomplishment anybody gets on the team, we all pulling for you. I get it one week. Say I scored twenty one week. Somebody else has scored twenty the next week. We got a lot of great. We got a lot of great talent. A great team. So everybody's gunning for each other. Like we all want each other to do good. All the accolades that come with winning, so we don't really focus on that. We focus on winning, and then the accolades that come after that, like uh, first team, all that stuff. That stuff will come after with hard work. And just how's the school for you? Oh, school's been great. Uh, it's my fourth year. I graduated this year. Um, it's been a great four years. Um, uh, met a lot of good friends. Made a lot of good friends here. Great community. Great staff. Um, it's just a loving community. Like the environment is just things you win, like, it's a great feeling here. I, I love it here. Right. You feel you've been taken care of? Definitely. Good, good. Oh, what about practice today? Oh, uh, practice will be good, hard, as usual. Uh, just going to go out there and give it everything I got. Uh, coach going to yell, we used to it, but we used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all for the best, I know that, so. Yeah, yeah. Going to try to go out there and give them what we got. What about the freshmen? How I mean, you, you know, you're a senior. You got the freshmen coming in. Um, how do you how do you look after them? What do you do? You said that your family. I'm just more of a leader this year. Um, like if guys don't know where they're supposed to be, I'm I'm telling them I'm all in their ear. I come out for a play to get a little blow. I'm all in their ear. You do this. You got to do this. You got to call the screen out. You got to. I'm just in their ear, just trying to teach them like how I was taught. So. It's no gray areas and none of like. So if I come out, I got a guy coming in just good that knows all the schemes, that's calling everything out. Um, that's basically what I mean. Like we're a family, we all pulling for each other. We all just want everybody to do good. Like I love these guys. I want, I want all of them to be successful, and uh, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help them. 